Okay, welcome back. We are playing Throne and Liberty. Yes, I got the early access. I don't do pay to win, but I wanted to play it early, so I got it. And so let's uh, enter in and see what we got here. I did play this on their playtest in, in uh, July, and I loved it. I thought it was so beautiful. Uh, Castleton. Well, we're going to try Castleton. And uh, let's go. The Star of Sylaveth. It is said to be the seal stone containing Sylaveth, goddess of destruction. This magical star of destruction was shattered into pieces all across the world. And those who were born with this fragment were called the Starborn. In 1192, during an age of conflict, the Archean commander Khazar sought to use the power of the star fragments as a tool of war. The wizard Jan Junith sent Calanthea, a witch, to the remote island where Starborn were hiding. So we're in a war. <laughs> Fire! Damn. Duck and cover. Beautiful, but probably deadly and evil. Oh, yeah, definitely evil. Oh my god. Creepy. Bam! Crawling on all fours like a mad beast. Harry Potter vibes. Harry Potter and Voldemort. Oh, I guess uh, Voldemort won. Okay, and then now we're in customer create character, cus mm, character creation. So you pick whether you want male or female. I'm going female. This is a really in-depth customer characterization. Uh, let's see, you can pretty much do anything. You can even put your own face in or somebody else's face in if you want to do that. So designer presets, just randomly generated ones that they've put out that you can do. And it just goes on and on. That's badass. Oh my goodness. Or you can go through the sliders and do it all yourself. I think that's the one I chose the last time. I want something a little different. Okay, as you can see, character character customization is very in depth. You can change pretty much everything. I've gone with one of the designer presets and changed it up a little bit. Made her eyes a little bit bluer, hair a little bit more purple. Change her, you can change the height, torso, pretty much everything. So uh, yeah, so let's get back into this. Now we get another cutscene. <sighs> Looks like the Lich King to me. <laughs> Oh, whoa. It's 
a great sword. It's like the target was left. Star fragment. So this little. Really? You think so? So this little blue line is our. So you can zoom in, rotate. I finished the tutorial. Are you kidding me? Oh, hello, stealthy one. He's cute to defensive skill. Mercy, you're dead. Oh, these guys. Now it works. That's the button it wanted me to use. Okay. No idea it was that button. Okay. This is not good. It's like a scene out of World of Warcraft. Zombies, and this is where I died the first time. Like ten times. Wasn't it W W and shift? Ah shit. We have the mysterious ghost form showing us where we're supposed to be going. Oh. Come on. Come on, stop it. W and shift. W and shift. Not enough stamina. Really? So I am stuck in this fucking hole. Well, we might have to start over again. Or teleport to a dangerous location. I don't care. Get me out of here. You have escaped. No, I actually haven't. I have not escaped. Oh, but I'm stuck again. There we go. After all these years,
Sure, I'll help open the door. Hey, it's you. <laughs> Whoa, are oh, you all right? Did you have that nightmare again? Yeah, it's Please, awful. Please don't feel guilty. The elder wouldn't want you to feel this way forever. Come on, why don't you go out and get some fresh air? Oh right, Lottie just left to go to Moonshade Town. You should follow her. Come along with me. I'd love to come with, but running makes my arm hurt. I'll bet Lottie more, but if you want to catch up to her, you'll have to morph too. Okay. Oh, Lottie, she didn't take the map again. Can you take it to her? I drew up the map because she asked for it too. Cool. Press M to open the map button. So this is where we are. This is Moonshade Town. Okay. Pick up the map on the table. I just did. Don't bitch at me, All Benny. Right, let's get going. So pretty. At certain times of the day, I believe he drops some kind of buff or gift or trinkets or something like that. That's really cool. He'll, he moves all over the world, too. So we're in a safe zone. Did you see that? That was Gigantrix. Oh, Guy Gigantrix. No, you didn't. Adventurer, why are you here? I brought the map, of course. Oh, I was just about to go back and get it. Thanks. Sure. Where? Why are you going to Moonshade Town? Oh, Moonshade Town. To something in Crescent Town. Well, it says Moon. Since you're here already, do you want to go to the training grounds with me? It's been a while since you've seen some action. Okay, thank you. What if we're late? I'm sure it's nothing too serious or urgent. Besides, today is the day when Gigantrite passes by with Spirian. Yes, we just Spirian saw him. Will be full of energy today. So let's take it easy. Okay. Why don't you take this chance to try out a different weapon? You can't keep using that broken sword forever. Then we can go to Moonshade Town. What do you say? Now, let's go. There's a broken sword. Be careful, my friend. Seems like Clay is here too, given a special occasion. Oi ho! Where are you headed? You seem nervous. A little bit. Oi ho! Oh, okay, never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Today is the day where the massive divine beast called Gigantrite comes by. Gigantrite is really, really big. What are you doing? Let's go inside. It is definitely different from the playtest because I got stuck because I went ahead of her. Oh, I'm surprised to see anyone here today. Want to try out some weapons? Sure. At the training grounds, you can try weapons, out different right? oh my weapons. Let me teach and see you. which one you like best. Well, I'm sure you already know. You can equip up to two weapons. Thank you. Try out different weapons and find a weapon that you like. A great sword, sword and shield, dagger, longbow, crossbow, staff, wand. Okay, so basically you have them all in your inventory. Ah, oh, you're new to these weapons, right? Let me teach you. Swords, great swords, and daggers are weapons used in melee. Swords are used with shields. So sword wielders typically stand on the front lines to protect others. Find one you like. Then try it on the Okay, so inventory. So this is equipped right now, and this is equipped right now. You can see your gear here. So this is your sword and shield. This is your daggers, your crossbow, staff. So if I do great, mm, I like great sword, but if I do. Okay, so I've equipped the, 
the crossbow and the greatsword. Okay, so that. The problem is. So for let's see, so this is K, so this is your skills and your your weapon skills and whatnot. So why does it say crossbow and longbow? Okay, back up. Crossbow. No, it's the necklace. Where is so I'm gonna unequip that and equip that and equip that. Okay, why are you being a rat? Access to defense. second okay there you go so right click for your primary and then left click on your second weapon and then do the e2 to get it in there so then you have to go in here and so this is your greatsword skills and these are your crossbow skills no these are Oh, these are the longbow ones. I don't want these. Um, so you just drag and drop onto your bar. I think these are levels. So I've got quick fire, nimble leap, mortal mark, recoil shot, and then I've got valiant brawl, precision dash, stunning blow, and death blow. Okay, so that should should hopefully set it up so you can see on the left side of your bar is your greatsword and then the right side of the bar is your other and as you change so now this is the crossbow so You need to switch again. Sure, why not, Lottie? Did I not do that? We're going to Moonshade Town. Can you open the gate? Sure, Lottie. You'll have a good view of Whisperian on the way, too. Whoa. Okay, so dwarves turn into giant golems. Lovely. Should we hurry? A little bit. Oh, look at her pretty wolf form. The town buzzes with excitement and energy. I'm jealous. During such an event, you and Lottie Aww. left Whisperian's fortress to visit Moonshade. Oh! Alright, who's... Excuse me, who's throwing boulders? Whoa! Okay. What's going on here? Let's go and check out the 
Check it out. I'll go over first. Follow me with your piton and grappling hook. My piton and grappling hook. Whoa! The Hello. Was destroyed by an attack. Although the path was now blocked, you and Lottie made use of the piton and your grappling hooks to continue on. Let's fit under that right quick. <laughs> yes, I have a lion like for well, come on, Slowpoke. Poke be attacking. I don't know, it doesn't look like anybody at the moment except for can you the tree. Whoa. Oh, no. I see a lot of black mitrans. Let's take care of this quickly. They get to moon jake now. So the yellow bar is your stamina bar. We're so there. We're there. Why are you double talking? Come on, Pokey. How am I faster than you, Lottie? I really like her wolf form. This can't be happening. Well, anything's possible. Through the body. Um, body? Hello? I don't want to select a target. There we go. Lottie, this is broke. We can't get to Hesperian with this. Let's think of another way. This lift would let us cross Vesperian to get to Moonshade Town. It's the only way to get there without a boat. Okay. This is bad. Bermetz is here. Maybe he has an idea. I will try to find a way. You go ahead and take care of the injured. You're assuming I know how to heal. Bermetz, oh, can you fix this? Naughty. Well, between the two of us, we'll have it fixed in no time. Shall we get started? Uh, where are the injured? And I will fix this. You. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I can see you. Thank you. Whisperian was hit too. Can you check it out? Follow you to Whisperian. Okay. Little glowy thing. We're just having all sorts of bad luck. Pretty. <laughs> but it's a cute little weird doll. <laughs> I like the hat. That'd be a cute plushie. What the hell am I doing flying? We're after the stars fragment. Oh, hello. Don't get her mad. <laughs> Not on my watch. Okay, thank you. 
You defeated the Black Mitrans that appeared on your way to Vesperian. While Vesperian was still intact, a broken pulley lift prevented you from reaching Moonshade Town. Suddenly, a mysterious being bathed in light appeared and led you to the top of the great tree. Oh. The lift has collapsed and can't be used. Glide morph. It's second nature. Oh, you really? I'll help you. Give me a moment. Okay. Okay, so she gave me some kind of little power. To be able to use glide morph at will. So you really can't go up, you can just kind of glide. You can see my stamina bar is dropping. <laughs> so basically... Whoa! So you can hit the yes button and descend really fast. It uh, it was. I met a whispering Amote, and uh, yeah, here I am. Doesn't he kind of look like somebody out of Pot Harry Potter? My name is Clay Carter from the Resistance. For some reason, you seem kind of familiar. Yeah, you met me as a kid. Oh, I see. <laughs> you escaped with me. Yes. I'm glad to see you're safe. But now's hardly the time to chat. Oh, For now, okay. Will you lend us your strength? Sure. Thank you. Captain Kyra and I will fight the Archean forces on this side and find a way to get in. We'll need you to go into town and rescue the residents with the resistance. Oh, you mean like that big green thing over there? All right. Please be careful. <laughs> when this is over, let's be sure to meet again. You think? After arriving on top of the great. Wait, wait, oh, this way. Okay, and then you want me to go up? Oh, whoa, okay. Get it up. Stamina. Huh. Oh, hello. Oh, let's stay out of that way. Wait, what just happened? I've got this. Oh, that's great. I'm glad you've got this. What the hell am I doing? Am I still fighting? Oh, I have to go this way. I'm sorry. time with this one. Ginormous orc. Like two stories, ten stories tall. Oh, 
Yeah. Why am I facing the wrong way? Ooh. You think? Oh, ow. Yeah, he's a couple of really bad moves. Yeah, I know. WSD are cute to roll. Oh, crap. Running. <laughs> this might not go so well. Okay, let's get out of that. I'm trying to block. Why am I just standing there? Yeah. Okay, we're just standing there doing nothing. A little harder. Really no safe place to Oh god and I'm right in his way. Jeez Louise. Never forget me, huh? Ah! Ouch. <laughs> We're not supposed to win this fight, but you can give it a good shot. And your glowy purple eye. They have really good cutscenes. eyes. Oh, Ooh, we got purple eyes now too. Do we have the same similar star fragment? Ooh. 
right in the eye. Tiny little axe just undoes him. This is the power of a rampaging star fragment. Look out! <laughs> Falling building. Wait. We was oh, okay. That's different. Look <laughs> at the tears on the doll. Oh my lord. I'm sorry, child. Children, this way. Wake up. <laughs> you again? How'd you get over here if the thing was broken? About any serious injuries. I just really love the graphics. Hey, so pretty. Awake? Do you recognize me? Yes, Benny, I recognize you. Oh nice. You wait here. I'll call the healer now. Okay. You do that. Hey little witchy hat doll. You're happy? Okay, good. I'm glad you're happy. I'm happy to be not dead. Yes. The child who lost everything here ten oh. years ago now challenges the might of the Archean Legion. Starborn bravery and determination forged You're... in celestial fire. I was worried you wouldn't wake up. Whoa, what happened? You blasted that orc with the star fragment's power. No, don't remember. Your body started glowing all purple all of a sudden and you smashed the orc's eye with your axe. My right arm feels a little weird. Maybe you used too much of your star fragment's power? Let's go ask Clay. He said he wanted to talk to you. Huh? Alright, let's go. Are you in any condition to move? I'm on my way with the healer. What happened? Do you have any idea how worried I was? I'm sorry, we were fighting a battle. I'm sorry I was worrying you. Uh, you're fine. It's okay, Clay honey. Waiting inside. So hurry up and go see him. Do you need a hug or something? Cause, dang girl. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. You did good. Thank you. Oh, you're finally awake. Oh, Come this way. Thanks to your defeat of King Vert, we were able to fight off the Archeum. The portal in the sky has closed as well. Well, that's good. I don't remember what happened. You were about to be killed by King Vert when your star fragment went into a frenzy and overwhelmed the enemy. If you hadn't been able to defeat him, none of us would have survived. I'm thankful the Elder protected you ten years ago, so that today we could stand together to defend Wisp Island. Okay. Speaking of which, I'm sure you feel guilty over what happened to the Elder. You didn't cause his death. You should know that. Please, don't blame yourself. Okay. I'll try and think about it that way. That said, are you all right? Your power, it's clearly too dangerous to leave as is. When a star fragment's power overloads like that, it takes a heavy toll on the bearer's body. It could even kill you. Carrying such a powerful star fragment makes you a target for the Archeum, too. A decade ago, Kazar and Calathia <laughs> invaded this island precisely to steal that power for themselves. That power is, is, is the doll talking to the stone golem? will hurt innocent bystanders who get too close. <gasps> what should be I done? I have a friend named Martine in Castleton, a town in Lassner. She's researching the effects of star fragments. I believe she can help you. He's look at the little dolls Here, just dancing around. My token. Show this to the storage manager named Melky, and he will help you. Okay. Got it. When you are ready to leave, Touch Luna Zero's head to temporarily enhance your glide ability. That should get you all the way to Castleton. Okay. I wish you all the best. Well, thank you, Clay. It's been a pleasure. So we're going to touch the little golem's head. <laughs> so we're done with the tutorial. 
Now this is the this is so this is the end of the tutorial. Bye Lottie. Bye Benny. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs> Best intro ever. I freaking love this damn intro. So now we're a bald eagle. Come on, Amate. I don't know what this is. Giant sea creature? You've never been outside the island, have you? Apparently not. You go to the new world, you'll be able to fix that little problem. Now that I have time to introduce myself, the name says it all. I am the great Helpy. <laughs> okay, let's go, Helpy. Helpy the Amote. There's our whale. These are like all the different zones that they have right now. I mean, look at this. This is incredible. Now we have werewolves or lichen, however you want to call them. It's like, what? Look at this guy. Look at that dude. But there is dyna dynamic weather in the game. I don't know about lightning strikes, but I do know about uh, rain and, and wind. We have a desert. It looks like a world boss. Somebody has a... I don't think there's pets in this game. As far as like fighting pets. Like hunters, but... That could have just been somebody's shapeshift form. There's a dragon. I don't know where he comes in. Watch this. Everybody just jumps off into their glide form. It's so cool. Look at this. Look at the architecture. It is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous look at this view this is like the map and there's another expansion that they're going to drop in a couple of months or shortly i don't know how i don't know how soon it might be a month might be two months so interesting kind of creepy like this but really interesting this is another it looks like boss This is what the whale drops. Gigant Giganticor. And now we're coming back up and we're going to go down to the city. This is Castleton. I mean, how is that not like the best flipping intro ever? I mean, come on. Damn. And then here is like everybody else. The island is safe for now. How These are everybody else where everybody else comes. These are all players, not all of them. All of them back here are players, right there. Some of these are players, some of these are not. There's another one of those golems. So we're going to talk to the store manager. Who's right over here? Welcome, brother. First time... I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know any brothers by that name. If you don't have anything in the store, buzz off. I've got this token from Clay. Oh, this is Clay. Brothers, you know Clay? Martinet had to go into hiding. He'll have to speak with the priestess. They changed that. Players can review content or rewards that are unlocked according to the character's progression tasks they can access. So this is mostly 90% of people. Look at all these. Look at everybody in here. So this is the fast travel. And so once you unlock that and you've unlocked another one, you can Lord just Charles open your map. Lord resisted Revolupius, who had usurped the throne. Revolupius. But his dominion was taken by the Archean Legion. So However, once Laslin was freed again by the founder's <laughs> order led by Captain Da Vinci. Da Vinci? Laslin He's Allen dead. He's been dead hundreds of years. Thousands of years. 
Look at this. Look how gorgeous this is. I mean, my God. So once you've once you've got another one, then you can just open the map. And you see all of these things. So you can see these are all the waypoints down here. So once you've opened up another area, see, so look at this map. I mean, geez, Louise, look at all this. This is where we were, and this is where we traveled to. So this is Castleton. So like if you go to a waypoint here, you could just open your map up and click on the waypoint up to level 30. I think it's free. So we, need to so we have to talk to the priestess. She's beautiful. I've got Clay's token. Um, I know reveals the truth in mysterious ways. I see you have new evil intentions. I'd like to meet Martinet. She's currently in hiding. You'll need a secret passphrase to meet with her. It's a safety measure to protect her from the Archeum. Well, what do you want me to do? To get the first part of the passphrase, speak with the local sundries merchant. Tell them you are looking for a red flower and show Clay's token. Then you will receive part of the passphrase. Okay, got it. Look at all these people. Take a candle before you head off on your adventure. So this is the sundries merchant. I'm looking for a red flower and I have this token. Yes. I think the soundtrack is off a little. I don't know what those Archeum bastards want with her. But under these circumstances, we have no choice but to be wary of outsiders seeking Martinet. Okay. Where can I find oh, Sorry for stalling. <laughs> you need the rest of the passphrase to find Martinet. The first part of the phrase is the light fragment. Ask okay. the skills researcher for the other half. Don't just say you're looking for a red flower. Okay. So then we follow that little star. This is so pretty. And there's grapple points all over the town. Do you want to make your Do you want to learn a new skill? No, I'm looking for a red flower. Ooh, he's cute. The second half of the password is whispers. You want to meet with Martinet? Head to the Castleton Infirmary on the north side of town. Say the password, and you'll be allowed to enter. Okay, got it. Many of the townsfolk, including myself, have been brought to help by Martinet's healing skills. Please take care not to let anything happen to her. Keep an eye out for anyone suspicious on your tail, just in case. Got it. First Murphy pretended not to know anything about Martinet. It turns out she had gone into hiding, fearing the Archeum Legion. When you showed Clay's token to the villagers, told you where to go, and gave you the full password, the light fragment whispers. Okay, so this is just basically the town. There's all sorts of merchants here. Mm -hmm. You can see where our thing is. Our quest objective is. So if you want to get out of shapeshift, you just stop for a second. There's a notice saying they're closed, and despite your knocks, there's no answer. You try to remember the first half of the password. The light fragment whispers. You sent someone's presence beyond the entrance, and hear a click of a lock being opened. I love that we push the doors open. It's so cool. I wasn't expecting any visitors. I haven't seen you around before. So She's what cute. You here? I see. Clay sent you to me because of my research. The truth is, my sister Adriana also suffers from bouts of mana frenzy. I've been searching for a cure. Okay. If you're suffering from the effects of mana frenzy as well, a mana calming potion can alleviate your symptoms. I brew one for you, but I just used my last batch of ingredients. Really? Unfortunately, I must stay here for the time being. That's typical. Let me fetch the ingredients. Then I'll tell you where to go and what I need. Head to the Golden Apothecary in the Golden Rye Pastures. You'll be able to find some rancid powder. Bring me some rancid powder, and I'll make you an improved mana calming potion. Okay. We can do that. 
go get it right now. To use waypoints, right? Yep. If you aren't sure, go ask Priestess Grace. Using them makes it a breeze to return after procuring materials. It does. <laughs> that potion, that martini. You look. Even, ooh, okay. Yeah, we don't look so good. Your symptoms are clearly getting worse. Hurry, bring me some rancid powder. Okay, I guess he's there protecting her. Consulting Infirmary has been closed for some time due to rumors that the Archean Legion was hunting Martine. It was to trick them into thinking that Martine, who had worked as a healer there, had left. While in hiding, she is still researching a cure for her sister's star fragment side effects. Oh, we get it hot. A leather tricorn, a forgotten tricorn. With a mystic hat. Let's go with the Robin Hood hat. Okay, I think we have to speak with Grace. Actually, there's something else I'm curious you about. You still have unanswered questions, I see. Waypoints are one of the greatest implementations of Benelux magic. They allow you to instantly traverse from one location to another. Originally, teleportation was a spell that only the most skilled wizards were able to cast by creating distortions between spaces using the elements of wind and earth. It was the wizard Clay who completed the schema to make waypoints so that teleportation could be accessible to everyone. Anyone can use a waypoint without any special training. Try placing your hand on the waypoints in the plaza and at the Golden Rye Pastures. Afterwards, talk to the Resistance Officer Ashton. He'll explain the rest. Okay, whoa. We can get pets. Are you kidding? What the hell? Oh, we already touched that waypoint, so I don't need to touch it again. I think I'm going the right way. Look at the sheepies! Aww. Look at that guy, my god. I think we're going the right way. Yep. So F means you can pretty much talk to everybody. So there's the waypoint. And these things with the yellow and the... They're all mobs. Okay, gotta go around. So now we've opened up a second waypoint. Look how pretty it is! This was once the most prosperous granary in Laslin, but after the cursed rain came, it became infested with strangely enlarged pests. Look at everybody fighting this. So cool. We tried to solve the problem by employing the power of free wizards, but the free wizards' clumsy magic only made things worse. Didn't know magic was clumsy. Look how pretty this zone is. You can bookmark exploration codices that are available in your current area. Or maybe, okay. That's nice. Look at that one. Oh my god, that is so cool. Um, I get this here. Oh, is my wait? Where am I going? Little in the pocket, apothecary. Look, that's like a leopard. So the ones in red have, will aggro on you, while the ones in yellow you have to hit. Look at the little wolfies, they're so stinking cute. Oh wait, why does it say my quest is all the way over there? I know it's not. It's like a leopard cheetah. Honestly, there's now's not the time to be worrying about goblins. Okay, so these are just like 
knowledge that you get. Little little letters and snippets and such. So apparently I'm going in like the wrong direction. Yep, there we go. Unless they want me to... It's telling me to activate the waypoint of castles and I already did that. Okay, so... H is your quest. Golden Ride Pastors. Aha, right there. So you can change how your quests appear. Whoa. I could be wrong. What oh, what's I that? Do? Mysterious note. Ooh. The Rye withered up for no reason. There were pests that we'd never seen before. Ten days ago, we were attacked by giant insects. Five farmers were severely, severely wounded. The Lord's wizards were urgently dispatched to the village and they chased away the pests. They set up a magic circle that prevented them from entering the village, but I still feel uneasy. The harvesters that were made to fight off birds or intruders in the rye are battling the giant scarabs, but I hear rumors that they're attacking farmers occasionally too. Oh. Crazy. So what is this? Oh, that's when somebody died. So this is the herbalist's apprentice. Master isn't here right now. Please come back next. Master isn't here right now. Well, isn't this where I'm supposed Master to go? Master isn't here. Okay. Mm hmm So we're at the Golden Apothecary. Oh, I, I think I should be here then? Golden Right Pastures. Yeah, I'm off a ways. Uh, depending on the weather you can gear. Not the time to be worrying about goblins. Get various crafting materials. Interesting. <laughs> I guess that arrow to my right is where I'm supposed to be going. Yes, that's a moving hay bale. <laughs> and there are loot boxes around. I guess it's up here. Oh, this is a contested place. Guild battles. So I'm just lost and going running around. There is fall damage. Okay, apparently it's not going to let me do anything until I go back and touch the dang thing. But if I've already done it, then I can go move. and just do it and then head back to the other one because damn. Oh, that was easy. Hobbs of oh God, no! Resisted <gasps> no! The throne, but there you go. Sorry. <laughs> like no, don't do it. But I already activated the one on. Okay, let me actually go. So then you can go here. Here's Golden Rye Pastures one. So oh my God, they made it. 
What? It used to be free until level 30. Well, that was just the playtest, but I mean... Okay, required cost free. Basic cost 40. Okay, so free move. I was getting ready to say, what? Okay, so I already activated this. So I guess I have to do the tutorial thingamajiggy. This was once the most prosperous granary in Laslin, but after the cursed rain came, it the became Einar infested with... Grace okay. introduced waypoints as a great integration of Venelux magic. Teleportation was a rare skill that was only used by a few wizards. When the wizard Clay completed the schema for waypoints, it enabled anyone to teleport freely. Ah, looks like it's your first time using a waypoint. If you open your map and select a waypoint activated with blue light, you will be instantly transported to that location. Once you place your hand on a waypoint, it will glow with blue light, activating the schema. If you open the map and select an activated waypoint, you can instantly travel to that location. Okay, so these these are tombstones for when people have died <laughs> and they haven't reanimated yet. Bantha fodder, really? <gasps> That's funny. Oh dear. Damn, that's a nice shield looking thing. What is that? How can I help you? Um do you need something from the master? Rancid powder? Well, I know how to make it, but uh, no, no. Uh, please forget what I just said. I can't. I haven't received the master's approval yet. What if I collect decomposed hearts from violent harvesters, poison stingers from wasps? And contaminated horns from scarabs. Then you go to the mandrake farm to get mandrake roots. Come back here with all of those, and I'll give you the last ingredient. Then, if you take all the ingredients to Windheel Shores and find my master, he'll make the powder for you. In the apothecary at the Golden Eye Pastures works the always gloomy Oliver, the herbalist's apprentice. Oliver has been an apprentice there for some time. Though he has no, no. the approval of his master. You've heard that the locals pitied the outstanding apprentice. A gifted student who suffered under his eccentric master. Watch my health, oh god. Phew. <laughs> I don't know if you can help other- you can help other people kill, but I don't know if it- If, like, it's shared loot, I don't think it is. The main ingredient for rancid powder can be acquired from harvesters oh. and insects in the Golden Rye Pastures. They are the decomposed heart of the harvester, which controls magical power, a wasp stinger, which controls magical toxicity, Stop. and a contaminated scarab wound, which has a pink effect. These ingredients are highly toxic on their own, but they're taking on more. Oops. My bad. Oh, he's a little fast. A little fast guy, hey? Eh? Oh, no, no, no.
I guess we all get killed by a wasp. <laughs> you were killed by a wasp. Oh, well, that's not where I wanted to go. <laughs> Let's go back there. And actually, I had all the stuff I was just killing. Because I could. Freedom to jump and play. It's so lovely. So then we have to go get our magic. Look at the blue fox. Oh my god, that's so cute. Now, unfortunately, there is a shop and you can get different skins for your uh, traveling forms. You can also get outfits and stuff. There is some pay to win, I guess you could call it, but it, to me, you know, to me, it's only outfits and skins that I, I would be interested in it at all. So I don't even think of it as pay to win. Pay to win would be like different buffs and whatnot. This definitely reminds me of Harry Potter. And this guy is just a little kind of out there. Welcome to Mandrake Farmstead, where we grow them with love from seed to harvest. And then you kill them. If it's fresh mandrakes you need, you've come to the right farm. Ah. Oh my. <laughs> uh, I've just run out of roots. Mm -hmm. How about collecting as many as you need yourself? And in exchange, you can have everything for free. Well, gee, thanks. Then try harvesting the roots from the mandrakes planted out in the field. Oh, by the way, mandrakes will turn violent when you try to harvest their roots, so be extra careful. You think? <laughs> so you can see, see all those those purple stars out there, those are all your quest objectives. So that shows you where all the mandrakes are that you need or wherever your quests are and stuff. And, um, so you're digging it up. Then, oof. So it just falls on the ground, you run over it and you pick it up. I was gonna say, why are you jumping out at me? So then we have to go. Looks this way. Wait, destroy the malfunctioning. Didn't I just do that? Destroy the malfunctioning harp. Look at that one. It's so cute. Malfunctioning harvesters. So like the violent harvesters. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm still, are you still mad at me? Okay. So here is a, oops, you gotta hold it until that thing, so there's a bug underneath it. Destroy the malfunctioning harvester, so. It says one, but I'm a little confused. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, a beehive. Dare, dare I? This is probably a mistake. Yep, it was a mistake. Because it sent a bee after me. Oh, and he's, or a wasp. 
Okay, leave the oh crap. Leave the leave the beehives alone. Dive, dive, dive. <laughs> So we're supposed to activate this. Look at all these outfits, they're so cool. While you search for treasures hidden in ships wrecked by storms and chests that have been drifting, you will encounter the masters of the coastline. Crabs. From a distance, they look like normal crustaceans, but when you get up close, you'll find they pose a greater threat than you anticipated. And some of the the crustaceans are boxes with legs. Very odd. Okay, so we now need to talk to the herbalist, which is over here. Right here. Oh, what brings you here? Huh? These are the ingredients needed to make rancid powder. Yes. Martin A must have sent you. But how did you know about these ingredients? Your Brentons. That clever boy. How did he figure this out already? He's quite bright. He deserves praise. Perilous have to go to perilous places to acquire ingredients. But Oliver can't even stand the sight of a mere ant. I'm waiting for him to overcome his fears. What? That may be a while. I'll the rancid powder for you right away. It must be urgent for you to come all the way out here. But look at me, rambling on. Here's your rancid powder. Planning to go straight back to Martinet? In that case... Why don't you try opening your map and teleporting to Castleton? After acquiring the last ingredient from the Mandrake farmstead, you were able to meet the herbalist, Wilson. He always entrusted the apothecary to his apprentice and collected herbs alone. He had to venture to all sorts of dangerous areas. So we're level four already. <laughs> but his pupil was a coward who would flee at the sight of an ant. Oh, here's one of those boxes. Now, is there any loot? I have no idea. Oh, I got XP and four Solian. I got a recovery crystal. Now it's raining. So what happens when it's raining is you can see it hits what looks like the camera, which is a very weird effect, but it lets you know that it's raining, I guess. So I'm going to enter, uh, click on that, move. I forgot to be looking. And there's everybody. Look how busy it is. And then let's go back to Martinet. The light fragment whispers. You bring the ingredients. You're back so soon. I did. did you find rancid powder. How are you feeling? Have you gotten any worse? Yeah, it was okay. I'm glad you're all right. The <laughs> rancid powder you brought is high quality. Okay. I'll make the monocalming potion for you right away. All right, here you are. Why don't you try it and see how it works? Let's chug that sucker down. How are you? Are you feeling? I can feel the mana calming down. Just as I thought. It's much more effective. I tried to improve the efficacy, but I didn't <laughs> expect the results to be this good. The calming potion's effect is very effective this time. I need to bring this to my sister right away. But as you know, I'm in no position to be wandering around outside. Thank I can you. give it to her. This is the same calming potion that I made you. Please, bring this to Mina at Windhill Shores. Okay. Only Mina knows where my sister is, you see. Xerox men might follow me, 
can find my sister if I go see her myself. Yes, Zarath, the leader of Laslin's Archeum unit. He's one of the Khazar's top commanders. He wants the power of my sister's star fragment and will stop at nothing to get it. Mm hmm. Nope, sorry. I just skipped through that. All right. Bye, Martinet. The effect of the mana calming potion that Martinet made was incredible. Soon after you drank the potion, you could feel your magic begin to settle down. Martinet, who had been researching a way to relieve her older sister Adriana's pain for so long, finally succeeded in creating a potion more effective than her other attempts. All right, where was I? Uh, confused as where I am. I guess you can get pets. It's so weird. I do. So there is that tower is our goal. Look at the little foxes. They're so cute. A chestation instead of a crustacean. A chestation. It's hilarious. And then I will show you. The next travel form that you can get. Oh, they put. Let's see, we'll go this way. And this will be the next travel form that you can get. Look at this, you turn into a little otter. <laughs> it's so stinking cute. I flip and let I swallowed some water. Well, you know what? Tough cookies. <laughs> huh? How can I help you? Here is the Manicami potion. So I brought it for your sister. Calming potion. I'm pretty sure that Martine must have sent you. If she sent this out of the blue in such a hurry, then things probably worked out well for her. Sorry, but Adriana isn't exactly here right now. I'm sorry, what? Where'd she go? She said she would find a way to suppress her mana away from the Archim's eye. Okay, so this isn't voice acted? That's odd. Um, I better go break the news to Martinet. She should be out of Laslin. Okay. Nina was unexpected. Very. Zaroth spies were closing in on Adriana's hideout. Oh, wait. Forcing her to flee. Martinet's potion was still not effective enough to control her mana completely. So she oh, we have a tasty to food a selection. To her frenzied mana on her own. Okay. Oh, another Lupius was widely known as the new ruler of Silesium, but it turns out he's only Kazar's puppet. The resistance must consider Kazar the real enemy and the mastermind and come up with a plan. Okay. Yep, nope. hang on. And from here you go up there, yahoo! And then up here. Ha ha! I think this is a solo encounter. Sounds like people are moving around back there. Hello, dear. Unfortunately, we're a bit late. Oh, it's just like New World. <laughs> <laughs> that one must have taken Adriana away. Nope, didn't have anything to do you with it. You have a star fragment just like that girl. Do I now? I what do you have? Home empty -handed after <laughs> oh, Helpy. <laughs> Helpy's taking one for the team. Okay. Oh, oh dear. You dare interfere with our plans? I'll kill you. 
Oh, really? Okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> I don't think I'm qualified to take on all three of you at once. Yeah, like I can just rip it out of my body. I probably shouldn't be sitting in that. Oh no. What were you saying about cold dead hands? Skill pending. Worn research paper. Okay. Complicated magic schema. I can't forget that horrible nightmare. With time, my memories became clearer. Okay. It's a book on the chest. Appears to be a diary. I felt someone's presence in my sleep. I thought it was just Mina at first, but then I could tell from the heavy footsteps that the intruder was someone I didn't know. I quickly hid myself and watched the intruder pass by. The pattern engraved on their sword meant that they were part of the Archeum Legion. Just why are the Archeum looking for me again? I can't allow that tragedy to be repeated. It's probably time for me to leave. At the very least, Martinet will be safe. The Archeum Legion attacked the lighthouse where Adriana had been hiding, seeking the power of a star fragment. Only after defeating them did you discover her research papers and a diary she had left behind. There, oh, it's locked and can't be opened. Oh, I'm an idiot. Times she had been through. There we go. Aha! So you need a key to open the chest. Oh! Oh goody, what's in the key? Study the parchment. Janice caught her anyway. She recognized my power immediately. I knew that as long as I possessed it, I would be targeted by Archeum for the rest of my life. She ended up telling me that the only way to truly be free from the Archeum was to leave as soon as possible and find some way to gain control over my power. You found a document which contained details about Janice Carter, someone Adriana had met. Janice, recognizing the strength of the star fragment that Adriana had, advised her that the only way to be free from the Archeum was to leave as soon as possible and find a way... Oh, cutscene. Different kind of cutscene. Archeum forces captured Martinet, the younger of two twin sisters. By keeping her hostage, they forced the shaman Adriana, who wielded the power of a star fragment, to call forth the rains. As the ritual began, rain cascaded from the sky, accompanied by crashes of thunder. But the Archeum forces had altered the ritual. Their tampering caused a cursed rain to fall on Laslin. Wherever the rain fell, creatures transformed into violent monsters that attacked people and devastated the farmland. Adriana was shocked to witness what she had done. When the Archean forces turned on the sisters, meaning to kill them now that they had served their purpose. The awe-inspiring power of the star fragment that lay dormant within Adriana flooded out, and their enemies were annihilated in an instant. So she kind of turned into part monster. In the aftermath, Adriana was beset by unspeakable disfigurations. Swallowed by guilt over her role in causing the cursed rain. Okay. Okay. I'm done with that. We're level six now. Cool.
It's so pretty. Ooh, what's this? There's a grapple hook. Oh, so they put grapple hooks all on. Right. Oh, come on now. Very cool, very cool. So aside from the grapple, there is no way to like climb up places. Well, you can kind of climb, but not really. There's a chestation. <laughs> so Q is blocked if you're on keyboard and mouse. So you don't have to run, I'm just Cruising around. So you can't phase through things like you normally would. Oh, the rain is over, the sun is out again. Alright, so we're just gonna hearth back. Uh, not in a second, but I will later. She's not fat. She has the disfiguration with like crab stuff. Crab parts. You must have come to see Martinet. Where'd she go? After speaking with you, I told Martinet about her sister and she left the uh, to find a new treatment. She asked me to give you a letter. Oh, this isn't the sister. Sorry. My bad. Uh, if I ever met you, it's over there. Give it a read. Adventurer, because of you, I was able to hear about my sister before it was too late. Okay. Adventura, because of you, Sorry. I was able to hear about my sister before it was too late. Thank you. I did read Martinez's letter. Now what do you want me to do? And so there is cooking and fishing in this game. I don't know if they're both active right now. So H is quest. Um, okay. So I read it. Adventurer, because of you, I was able to hear about my sister before it was too late. Thank you. Okay. So then, do I talk Adventura? to you? Again? Oh God! Stop. <laughs> I guess it's like that's it. Okay, so I, I did move B to return to the Castleton. And okay, so B is also a teleport, apparently. So for some reason, the, the quest log is not updated.
Okay, so we already went through this. Letter again. Because of you, I was now that her hiding place. There we go. There was another part to it. Zeroth's men will find this clinic, so I also decided to leave before it's too late. My calming potion won't be enough to fully control your mana. It's too powerful, but it'll keep it from raging out of control for the time being. I'll focus on developing a proper, long-term treatment. When we meet again, I'll be able to cure you completely. Until then, please take care of yourself and be safe out there. Okay. Don't worry too much about Martine and Adriana. They'll be reunited. I'll clean this place up. You take care of yourself. Okay. When Archeum had taken Martine hostage, Adriana had an. Is there someone out there? Can anyone help me? Okay, so we can get a nicer weapon. Ooh, much nicer. Um, so that is a crossbow, which is not better than ours, so I will choose the greatsword. Okay, so then you go to your inventory, mm, excuse me, and select that, select that. Don't know if I can put that there. Nope, apparently not. Yep. But we've got our brand new sword. We've got some lithograph armor. So these are things for um, crafting, improving your armors, improving your skills. So K is your skills. So you've got skill specialization. Um, I don't have any points. I don't have enough materials. So, but I'm just looking at it. Um, the amatory houses. Yeah, it's, I know where it's at, but I'm not going to tell you. Not yet. So, want to. That's my inventory. So, let's look at the shop. So, these are lucents, I think. It's 500 lucent. I don't think, I believe, I have. I have no, no lucent. So you can look at this. It's like a battle pass, gives you different skins, different um, money, in game money, polished crystals, whatnot. Um, Star Wars Old Republic has it, um, Black Desert has it. Um, I don't know that WoW has something exactly like this. So I've acquired that, I've acquired that. These are daily quests and weekly quests that you can um, get to get rewards. Um, constant ones that you can get. You can log in three times and acquire 30 of this. Um, I'll claim all that I have, which is 50,000 Solent, which is the in-game currency. Lucent is the conversion of real money to the shop money. So I, I don't know what the auction house uh, has. So that's your character info. So that hat does look kind of crazy. <laughs> but if you don't want to show your hat, you can go here and it will take your hat off. You still have it on equipped, so you get the points for it. Um, so let's see what we want here. Strength. Um, mana, dexterity. I think dexterity is crit. Wisdom. I don't know that I have mana. I don't think my crossbow does mana. Perception. CC effects. 
time. Okay, I'm almost okay, so I'm already done. So then it shows you all your stats here. So it's a nice to me it's a nice game. It it has a lot of potential. Okay. Somebody needs to chill. So apparently there are emotes. I do not know the emotes just yet. This was our next quest giver right here. This young girl right over here, but I'm not going there yet. I'm just... Uh, what the hell was that? Can you have a dragon shape? I guess you can. Oh, the, the, where's the mage? Or the... um. There was a songster here. Oh, she's not there anymore. That sucks. There was a young girl playing a lute here and she was the music was just incredible. Apparently they took her out. That sucks. So can I Okay, the invasion of Wisp Island was to get their hands on the star fragments. Galinthia carried out a campaign of genocide and extracted star fragments from the bodies. The elder of the island died, but the children he was protecting are assumed to have escaped. Yep, I'm one of them. I want to see if you can sell. So you can select products from the purchase list on the left and put them in your cart. Ah, you can sell. So I can sell my old greatsword. For 870 you can sell these I don't know that I would do that just yet just because um, just because we don't know what they're gonna be um, <gasps> the dog the dog the dog pet the doggy play with the doggy look at the puppy we can play with the puppy oh my god he rolls over he's so cute <sighs> that is like the best thing. You can only play with them. <gasps> what a good boy. Oh my goodness. There's a time limit on how often you can do this. <gasps> yeah. He's a good boy. So if you go back to him, you can't do it again. Oh. There are other dogs around. I don't know if there's an achievement or not, but it's super cute. Oh, look at the love thing. He's so cute. Roll him over on his back. Oh, yes, they were true. There is a... So you can get up on the roofs, check things out. There's a harbor down here. This is the skills vendor and, and stuff like that down there. There's the harbor where we came in. So it's really... it's We're already level 7, so it's cool. It's, I think it's a nice a nice game. has a lot of potential. You just never know what's going to happen. So I think that's where we're going to leave it for now. Thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you next time. Bye now.